Hi everybody, so I'm just going to do a quick review of uh, two Guess fragrances. The Guess Femme, just Guess, I guess, Guess Woman, and Guess Gold. Guess Gold, Guess Femme, and I really like Guess stuff in general as far as like their clothes. Their clothes just fit me well, and um... Previously, but fragrance wise, what made me, well, first of all, I was just walking around in Burlington, as we all do, or most of us do, a lot of us do, and I noticed them. But previously at TJ Maxx, I had got the Guest Seductive Noir, which this one is really nice and I've already reviewed it. And then I had also got the um, Guest Dare before, cute little bottle. This one's okay. I don't hate it. It's a uh, jasmine smell, almost like a creamy metallic jasmine smell to me. But the Seductive Noir, a lot of people like, and it comes for, um, you know, the women or the men. But I actually think the women is unisex. But a lot of people like this one. And I got it really cheap, this one in particular, too, because it was missing a cap. So they had a few guest fragrances in Burlington today. And so I stood there with my phone looking on Fragrantica and I really like just name wise was attracted to the 1981 Los Angeles. But then you can't really believe people on Fragrantica. I, I don't know why I even bother, but I look up the notes and stuff anyway. And you know what people say about longevity and stuff like that. Anyhow, I was attracted to 1981 Los Angeles and also just the 1981, both of which were up there. But after reading the reviews, I, I just went ahead and grabbed these two. Um, so let me first say that when I got them, as usual, when I pick up cheapies or inexp inexpensive um, fragrances, you know, I get right in the car and open them up, as you can see, like straight away. And... I'm wondering if the weather had something to do with it today. It's summertime and it was like on and off rain today, which my ears are ringing for some reason. Hmm. Um, sometimes that just makes things smell, I don't know, I vape and I have to admit y'all, I smoke cigarettes too. And I will tell you like as a smoker, if you're smoking and it's like damp outside, it, it really, even if you're not a smoker, you know, that's it's when it smells really atrocious. At any rate, I got in the car and started spraying away, and I was immediately disappointed and appalled, so much so that I didn't spray anymore, really. I got home and put, like, one spray here of one of them and one spray of the other, and immediately got on one of my uh, little chat, fragrance chat groups and complained about it. Now I'm going to have to go and recant because some people were like, I really like that one. You know what? When I did this review, I meant to get two other fragrances to have in my hand to talk about, but that's okay. And one of these days too, I'm going to actually use the, um, the YouTube like video maker, but not today. I'm just talking as usual. Okay. So let's just start, let's start with the, the guest woman, <clears throat> which is the silver one, silver and pink. And my name starts with a G. So I like the Guess G stuff. Then this one was $21.99. I think that's a pretty typical price for this. And you know what? I like their bottles. Even though this is cheap plastic, I still think it's a cool, cute design. Um, I'll show you the spray. I mean, they spray nicely. It's a little mist. To, when you first open them, get it pumping. But once once they're going, it has like a nice uh, gentle mist. Now, both of these, when I first smelled them, I thought I immediately, and what I ranted about was that they had like Dollar Tree, cheap, five below, whatever they put in cheap fragrance, that kind of like chemical, detergent-y type. Oh, like you could almost taste like the detergent in your mouth, like cheap Dollar Tree detergent. I don't know for what I, that, that is, I was just immediately assaulted with that kind of vibe, but I got home and complained about it. 
you know, and listen to other people, they're like, oh, wait, you know, let it sit or try it again because I like this one. I like that one. And I did that. So I said, okay, because uh, together, these two cost me like $44 with tax. And a lot of times with cheapies, I will just uh, donate them. And I'll talk about that at the end. Y'all have to stick around to listen to that. I think it's good to hand directly, maybe to like women and women's shelters. Well, talk about that later. Anyhow, so I sprayed, where's my other hat? I sprayed two different hats a whole bunch of times, like 10 or 12 sprays of each fragrance on a hat. Like, so it was this one I sprayed on this hat. I know that. And now it smells good. So I did like 10 or 12 sprays on the hats and took them outside. And I really would like to have my other hat. I keep tossing stuff around and doing last minute videos. <clears throat> Let them air out. And then I brought them back in. I started smelling them. I was like, wait a minute now. And then my daughter smelled them. My daughter came out and she smelled each that hat. And for this one, she was like, oh, that's for this one that we're talking about. The guest woman. She said, yeah, it's like kind of shampooy, but it's nice. Um, and I had already put it in her head that I didn't like them. I was like, come smell these. What do you think? Before I even picked them back up. So she had that in her head. She's like, no, they, they don't smell like really expensive. Like some of your other fr fragrances that you can tell are very, very quality. And they smell like what they are. Um, but she said... She smelled both the hats that I had sprayed, and she said they're both nice. She said this one was almost like a like a fruity floral shampoo. Now, this does have jasmine in it, and for me anyway, jasmine in anything is what gives it that uh, like shampoo-y type, which sometimes is really nice. Um, and this does have jasmine in it, but it has a lot of stuff. So according to Fragrantica, the top notes in this are green apple, strawberry, bergamot, and tangerine. Middle notes are magnolia, peony, or peony, however y'all want to say. Freesia, lily of the valley, red berries, jasmine, peach, and alang alang. And base notes of musk, cedar, amber, and oak moss. I actually like this one now, and I particularly like it in my hair. Not because it smells that much like a shampoo, but it's... There's just certain fragrances I specifically like to put in my hair. With this actually, well, let me say this too. I saw in Fragrantica, a lot of people compare this to uh, Versace Bright Crystal. Well, I love Versace Bright Crystal, and this is not Versace Bright Crystal. Um, I think that's a big stretch. I guess what they're going for, you know, with that kind of comparison is the... Um, it is, it is like a, a, a bright, uplifting fragrance, this is. But it doesn't have the, um, I don't even want to say depth, because Bright Crystal is not like some kind of fragrance with like a lot of depth or anything. In fact, some people complain, that, well, they love it, but they say it doesn't last long enough. It, it lasts fine on me, typical, um, average designer type lasting power for me. <sighs> This, there might be similarities between the two with that bright, fruity floralness of it. But they're definitely, to me, very, very, very different. To me, this um, this is nice after I've done sprayed it. and I do get that fruity shampooiness, but this has a very fizzy strawberry. You definitely get the strawberry. When it when you first spray it, you get those top notes, the green apple, the bergamot, the citrusy, and the strawberry. And you continue to get that berry, but then you really get the rose and the magnolia. It's the jasmine that I think, like I said, gives it that shampoo vibe. Peach is in there, but it's not a standout note. The strawberry lingers like a fizzy. If you like Bath and Body, the strawberry soda, like if you imagine that with a little bit of like rose, which peony has the rose smell, um, and magnolia, then you would get this, that kind of thing. Now for its base notes, the musk, cedar, amber, and oak moss, those, 
they're not heavy as bass notes typically are being the bass, being the lingering notes. And he's like slight, ever so slight musk as a bass note. Um, you do get the sweetness of it. Um, the amber kind of, it's a very subtle, the cedar's very subtle. It's just enough to be there. So while any age could wear this, I think that it would be very good for younger people because <clears throat> younger people don't necessarily need that, the strength and a fragrance of like a very, uh, like a very wood type smell or a very, <clears throat> you know, nothing too heavy, nothing like heavy patchouli or, or heavy wood, which I really like a very woody smell mixed with um, fruits and florals. In fact, I think this could be layered. It could be used for layering. I would like this even more if they took it a step further and added that kind of like depth to it. But it is a fun, fizzy strawberry. That soda strawberry is cute and I do like the strawberry smell. And that stays in there. And, you know, I do like freesia too because that's a very bright, bright smelling flower. Um, but you definitely get the magnolia and the peony type flower uh, smell coming through in this. So it's nice. Like I said, the strawberry lingers through. Fruity floral. Um, very strawberry. The apple's there in the very beginning and that's citrusy in the very beginning. Well, maybe the citrus lingers and that's what's giving it the zinginess to the strawberry. Well, I hope that helps. So at first I was like, I'm going to take these back and um, now I don't want to part with them. So, I like it. More interestingly, let me move on to the other. Um, the Guess Gold, which a lot of people like in the Fragrance Check group that I was chatting in, but also on Fragrantica. And people were comparing this one to Chanel Chance, which I don't have here, so I can't speak on that right now. Um... Somebody on the fragrance chat group said that she likes to layer this with her Bath & Body Dahlia. These are all people commenting after my initial complaint. I'll go back tomorrow and recant and say what I do like about these. My daughter came out and said this was the stronger of the two. And that they, she, like I said, she said they were both nice. Um, they're both nice fragrances. Just now I sprayed a lot more of it on. I walked to her room and she said, oh God, she said that's really strong. I said, is it? Um, so... I think this one has decent lasting power. I think with either one of these, I'm still, I sprayed this at like a little after six o'clock. It's 1054 now and I still smell it. I would say really, really, if you really want this one to last on you, to really, you know, saturate your fabric, your clothing with it or your hair or whatever, or just reapply. This one, definitely, if you saturate it in any fabric, um, it's going to, you're going to keep smelling it. And you guys don't take this the wrong way because she loves stuff like the certain Febrezes and stuff. She said it almost smells like one of those really good Febrezes. I said, oh, so I smell like an air freshener. She said, no, She's, she was like, it smells like a perfume, like a fragrance. But something about it reminded her of one of those Febrezes that she loves. Um, some people... There was one person on Fragrantica who said this smelled like Axe Body Spray. It doesn't. Only one person said that. However, the only way I could see how they were making that comparison was, I think this is unisex. There was one guy on Fragrantica that said um, that somebody had told him to try it because it had a slight resemblance to Creed Aventus. Now, we all know that you're not... It's not going to be just like Creed Aventus. I think what they were talking about was the fact that it has pineapple and vetiver. Um, I, I think a guy can pull this off and wear this. It's made for, marketed for women, guess gold for women. Um, of course, the bottle's identical, just gold, and it's got like that purpley pink juice. Um, again, I think those are cute, even though they're plastic. Um, so that it, this definitely has the pineapple. Let me read the notes to this one. The Guess Gold. 
just being slow. So for its main, I'll go into that in a second. It's, um, its notes are, according to Fragrantica, we all know Fragrantica is, is nice to be able to go to, but they don't always get all the notes or anything. So top notes, they have pineapple, apple, and lemon, middle notes of jasmine, hyacinth, water lily, and rose, and base notes of amber, vetiver, and sandalwood. This is yummy. This is a juicy, woody, green type fragrance with a bit spicy. A lot of people talk about pepper is not listed as a note, but they get a, a pepperiness to it, which I like. I love the smell of pepper. I don't like, I love it. Um, maybe there's pepper in it. Fragrantica doesn't list it, but I would guess that they are picking up on the vetiver, which can have that spiciness to it at times, depending on which kind of vetiver it is. And I like vetiver. Um, which is more often, I mean, it's in both male and female marketed fragrances, but very often heavy in male fragrances. So, um, but this seems to be it like in the chat group and on Fragrantica. So I'm glad I've got it sprayed all over me now, so I don't have to look for that because I went ahead and sprayed this all over me because now I like it. After it dried down, I'm going to tell you guys, I can't believe nobody else mentioned this what it reminds me of because i was thinking i was like oh it's dried down yeah there's something really good about this uh after that initial spray that i had done outside of the store so if y'all pick these up definitely give it a chance um this one was 19.99 i mean these aren't uh several hundred dollar fragrances so that's not what you're getting, but that doesn't mean they're not nice. Um, so what this reminded me of uh, was one that I really, really like, and I have it around here somewhere, is Badgley Mishka Forest Noir. Now, I have a few from Scentbird by Badgley Mishka, but the only one of theirs that, I, that I've had that I really, really love, it, and I've done a review on it, is the Forest Noir. That is such a pretty fragrance. And this is what, this reminds me of that. Forest Noir is better, but this is in that realm. If you like, and I hope I'm not steering you wrong, um, because to me, it, it definitely, it hit me. I was like, yes, that's what it reminds me of. Um, of course, I'd like to have a full size of that. I need to get that because I do really love that one. And it's in such a pretty green bottle. So I went ahead and looked up. That's why I was holding off on reading the uh, main accords. I looked up the main accords and the notes to Force Noir as compared to the Guest Gold. So the main accords for Force Noir by Batchley Mishka are citrus, fruity, sweet, aquatic, green, earthy, vanilla, woody, white, floral, and mossy. And for guess gold, the main accords are woody, fruity, floral, amber, fresh, green, sweet, aromatic, white, floral, and earthy. Already you see the similarities, but now let's go to the actual notes. And by the way, I love a pineapple note, and, and you get that in here. Like I said, after this is settled, give it, give it some time. Like, spray really good. And gag if you must. <laughs> but spray really good and then give it time and then see what you think. I mean, if you don't like it, take it back or gift it to someone or keep it. I mean, it's 20 bucks. But I, I think if you like Force Noir in that realm, I think you will like this. Um, so top notes, pineapple, apple, lemon. Middle notes, jasmine, hyacinth, water lily, and rose. Base notes, amber, vetiver, and sandalwood. I feel like, much like Badgley, Mis and Mish Badgley Mishka for Smar, this is like a kind of a, a spicy, juicy, foresty type, like green, juicy green fragrance. And sweet, a bit sweet. So, but not super sweet. So it's a uh, woody type sweet. Anyhow, so look at them for yourself so you can compare. Yes, I'm not using the YouTube editor and 
Oh, you guys are looking at all my tabs up too. There's nothing interesting. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> nothing interesting for y'all. So, and then you go back to the notes of Badgley Mishka for Noir. And its top notes are, as listed by Fragrantica, are pear, mandarin leaf, citron, and middle notes of hyacinth, night blooming, blooming jasmine, and Bulgarian rose. So those middle notes, hyacinth, jasmine, rose. Guess gold, middle notes, jasmine, hyacinth, water lily, rose. Uh, guess gold, base notes, amber, vetiver, and sandalwood. For, um, for snoir base notes, vanilla, moss, dewdrop, and patchouli. Um, its top notes are pear, mandarin leaf, citron. The guess gold is pineapple, apple, lemon. So you got that citrusy and then you got that sweetness. The other has the sweetness of pear. This has that juicy, sweet pineapple. The middle notes are almost the same, um, as you can see. You know, the hyacinth, the jasmine, and rose, they both share. The gold has the water lily, too. So, no wonder, I mean, when you look at the main accords and the notes, um, it makes sense that they resemble each other. So, um... Oh, I think I already mentioned. I'm trying to think. Am I leaving anything out that I wanted to mention? I hope when I was getting up and down, I wasn't like flashing at all. I'm just, just sitting on the edge of my bed. I have to go back and watch just to make sure I'm not doing that. <laughs> was there anything else I was going to mention? I like both of these now. They're worth the 20 bucks. 20 for this one. $21.99, so $22 for this one. Now I don't want to part with them. And I think they'd both be good for layering. I think I did say for the um, guest woman. No, no, no. She said it for this one. She said she likes to layer the guest gold with her Bath and Body Dahlia. And I have Dahlia over here, so I'll have to try that. Both of these could be good for layering. This one for, for an... Um, older person, when I say older, I mean, you know, not super young. I think it'd be nice to add some more richness, some woodiness or some leather or some, you know, something like that to it or by itself. You don't have to add to it. I do love the citrusy fizziness of the strawberry in this and it's sweet. Um, it's fairly smooth. It's nice. Now that I know how it settles and how it smells, um, I, I do like it. And this one I like because it's in my head that the similarity uh, with this and Forest Noir. What were other people were saying this? Oh, I told you. They said this. People were saying this reminds me them of the Chanel Chance. And that this reminds them of... Versace Bright Crystal. That's a stretch. I can see how they say that. Um, but I still think that's a stretch. I, I would never try to think that this is, you couldn't say this is a dupe of that by any means. Maybe in the same kind of um, sort of kind of genre. But yeah, I already covered that. So again, though, I want to emphasize that while anything is unisex, guys, you can definitely wear this. The Guess Gold will smell, I think this will smell good on you. Um, get it on your fabric. Both of these, get them on your fabric. This will definitely, and these both may be fragrances that you kind of go nose blind to yourself. I did hear a lot of people say that about this one, um, that it seems light and inoffensive and that they kind of go nose blind to it and you do have to reply it doesn't last like forever or anything unless you really soak it on those fabrics but they say other people compliment them and ask them well what are you wearing you know i like that for this one and then this one a lot of ladies said that um their man their boyfriend their whoever really likes smelling this on them um and like i said a couple of guys chimed in and that pineapple in this that pineapple in vetiver I feel makes it unisex, but ladies are, I feel so uptight even saying ladies or guys these days, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, 
Um, don't think that because I say this is unisex that it's not um, a perfume for women because it is. But guys can definitely wear this too. That's all I'm saying. So I think it's unisex. Much like I think the guest seductive noir for women is unisex, even though they have the for men version. Okay, um, I'm glad I wrapped that up. Now I can put on my PJs and go to sleep. And as usual, I hope you guys are having a great night or day or whenever you're watching this. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your summer. If you're watching this during summer, it's August 1st today. Summer's my favorite. And I'm loving it. I hope you are too. So if y'all have tried these, uh, comment. Let me know uh, what you think about them. Or let everybody know, not just me. And like and subscribe. That's it.